Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Stray Kids Fridays. So today is all about in life and I love this album. I love it so much. In fact, that today for the first time, I'm going to have a top seven when it comes to a Stray Kids album. So for that reason, I have to split my review into two because otherwise it will be, you will get blocked. So this first part is going to be all about my top seven to five and then the part next part is going to be about my top four so i really love this album i love this album for a couple of different reasons the first one is the music is amazing um the second one you can really tell the growth and i love the fact that as i move from album to album i see the changes i see how like as they gain experience it also reflects through the music and i love that so much the other reason why i really love this album is that it made me appreciate other members aside from the ones that i'm already biasing so what has been happening lately is that every time i listen to a new circuit album one person gets added to my bias list so i started this journey biasing changbin quite hard but now i am biasing changbin han lino sangmin and this album, I fell in love with Felix. Like, Felix was already someone quite special to me because it just gave me that, like, teddy bear vibe. But I really, really started loving Felix quite a lot, this album. So now I'm up to five. And the next one, I'm pretty sure somebody is going to be added because there is this someone special that has been just making his way through my list <laughs> i want to see how things turn out like i'm having so much fun checking them out you have no idea so before i get into the album and everything let me play my favorite or just a little bit of my favorite from last week levent <laughs> So that was a little bit of Leventa, my favorite from last week from the album of the same name. So this week is all about in life. And like I said, it was a blast. And I really fell in love with Felix, this album. Um, and this album is so good. There's so many sounds on there. And the thing that I love about Stray Kids is that they make odd music sound really nice. What I mean by odd music, like there's quite a couple of groups that I have checked out or checking out that make odd music. It's music nobody understands or 
anyway, it's just sound that we've not heard before. Some people call it noise music, but I don't think it's fair to call it that. Even if you mean it in the best way possible, noise is noise and noise is never going to be a positive thing. So I avoid that word as much as possible. For me, it's just something that is new and that we don't understand. But five years from now, when that becomes, not even five years, right now, I can see, um, I was watching one episode of a music show. I don't remember which one because one of my, one of the people that I really love was on there. And I realized that this has become kind of the trend. So why call it noise now? It's just a, its own genre of music. So I love the fact that they made their own sound that feels very unique to them and they stick to it and i'm pretty sure they may have faced or continue to face some criticism when it comes to the choice of the the type of music that they make but for me i think they just perfected it because at the beginning it felt like it was a little bit too hard for for them but as we're going through the albums, they started adjusting things here and there, and now it's perfectly fitted for Stray Kids. And I don't care what anybody says. I believe, I personal, personally believe that this sound is amazing, and they do it nicely. Of course, when you start doing something, you're not going to be the best at it, which is the reason why there are some songs at the beginning that feels quite odd to you or might not be to your liking. But now we have we are eight album in, and you can tell the difference between when they started doing the style of music and now. And if you tell me that Stray Kids of Now is not the type of music that you can listen to on the regular, you are lying or you just don't want to admit it out loud. But I think that they really made that sound theirs and they just added their own little spin to it. And I love what they are doing with their music, which is one of the main reasons why I really love this album. It's because they took that um, sound and they applied it to many different genres, and it became its own thing. I really love that. I love the fact that even if they are going to do, like, let's say, an R&B song, it's going to be an R&B song, the Stray Kids way. And I love that so much. I love that in the later albums, they are no longer adapting to the music, but rather the music is adapting to them, and I love that so much. Talking about things that are changing, um, my number seven on this album is Wow. And the reason why this song is one that I really love is that Felix, like I said, I fell in love a lot with him in this album. But if we are being honest, Felix, yes, has one of the most memorable, if not the most memorable lines when it comes to Stray Kids songs. But when you really look into it and you actually sit down and listen to the music, you will realize how little of Felix there is actually in songs. So at first I was not noticing it, but since lately I've started, no, um, like I know when everyone is singing, I know everyone's voice, I realize actually that Felix is not on there a lot. The thing is, he is so charismatic that whenever he's on a song, even if it's two seconds, when you are done listening to that song, those two seconds are going to stay with you. And that just speaks onto his talent. Because with the small window that is given, is able to really make an impact or a strong impression of you. And not everyone can do that. And I love the fact that in this album, they they divided themselves in those subgroups. And I love that I can hear more of Felix, which is something that I really appreciate. And also, whoever put those three together, thank you. I really, I'm really grateful to you. So... Before I talk more about this song, let's listen to my number seven on the album, Wow. Got what you've been like. Silence. 
stylist. 너를 본 순간 stylist. 내 주인 전부 너 말고 fade out. Yeah. Confused, confused. 말 걸긴 어려워 내가. 알던 너와 달랐어. Yeah. Uh, time flies by without me even knowing. Looking at your photos on the net, you're glowing. 내가 처음 바라본 얼굴 만나 계속 뭔가 달라. Just wanna get along with you. 180도 색다른 너. Turn it to feel to your floors. I wanna catch up to where we left off. Let's be friends, no one now. 처음과 다른 네 모습에 curious of you. 달라진 네 분위기에 curious of you. 알수 없는 내 기분, this curious of you. 네가 나를 쳐다보는 그 눈빛에 let me say wow. Got me tripping like. my seventh favorite song on this album i just love that i can hear felix um also yanjin is someone that is quite um not known to me as much as the others um and that's like mostly my fault because like i said um I've really been getting into more and more members as I go on with the albums. It's just that the others tend to really grab my attention a lot. Um, but I'm pretty sure by the time that I get um, to the end of the discography, I'm going to bias the entirety of Stray Kids because i just love them i love the way they make music and everything um so this song is definitely one that i really love i love how fun it is i love the fact that i can hear them i love the fact that it's a type of music that you have on repeat i just i just love this song in general my sixth favorite on this album is backdoor <laughs> Hey, hey. 
늘 시간 바래 두고 고생해서 주인 잘못 만나 몸 호강 시켜 죽게 따라 와라 와라 백볼 새콤 아니니까 괜찮네 지금 들려오는 이 소리는 빵빠래 밤새 놀아보자 필요한 건 more caffeine 올라면 오던 가음 오늘 열려라 참게 괜찮아 보여 모든 게 완벽해지는 이 순간 두 눈앞에 서 펼쳐지는 fantasy 내 목소리가 터지도록 외쳐 멈칫 favorite back door i just love our fun it's it's something a, a running team through this album it's really fun it's really the type of song that you can enjoy all the time it will put you in a good mood like there's so many songs that are just so um full of joy and happiness that i really enjoy that like this album is amazing they've really stepped up the game when it comes to this album and their delivery on it overall like i love the song i love this like the different knocking sound effects and all that and whoa what a song definitely one that sticks with you my fifth favorite on this album is be me
잡아 떠나 쉬운 마음도 사라져 뜨거운 몸에 비치고 불고 Just let me go That was my fifth favorite in this album, Be Me. I really enjoyed the song. I found it so beautiful, so nice. And I love the energy. It's so bouncy. It just makes you happy. Like, I really enjoy the side of Stray Kids that they showed throughout this album. I love the fact that they show that they can be serious. They can have fun. They can do anything. And I love that it was shown through the music and this album is just so great and obviously i love long albums where there are so many songs i love that and even by the end of it i was still like i want more <laughs> like i wouldn't mind an album like uh, chris brown that would be like 42 songs that are just strike it song like i'm i'm serious i won't mind i really enjoy listening to strike it's music just for the fact that you can tell by the sounds, the theme, and everything, even your just your own personal feelings while you're listening to that, that they are taking you through a journey. And you really feel like you, by the end of it, it was worth it. And you just want to start the journey all over again just because the songs were so good. And Amy, definitely one of the stand out, the stand out in the album. So that's the end of part one. I talk to you soon for part two.